Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming, even if it's lunchtime. Uh, today on stage with me, Federico Minzoni, lead developer at Enter. My name is Mariano Cugnetti. I am the CTO at Enter. Enter is a company based in Italy. Uh, we run a public cloud named Enter Cloud Suite. It's a uh, um, multi-region uh, open stack based cloud. It's uh, based entirely on an open source stack. We have regions in Milan, Frankfurt and Amsterdam. And on uh, last June, Enter was acquired by a big hedge fund, an Italian hedge fund uh, that funded a company named Irideos, uh, who is acquiring a lot of infrastructure companies in Italy. So big plans for tomorrow. So. Um, what we have done is basically we have uh, done a lot of automation during the last years and we have developed a, a set of tools that we wanted to share uh, with the people, uh, with, the, with the community uh, over GitHub. So if you go on github.com slash enter cloud suite, you will find uh, the uh, Terraform modules we have developed uh, and the Ansible modules to run our infrastructures and the infrastructures we run for the customers. But over the years, uh, basically, we have discovered that uh, customers want to handle, cu customers are software developers mainly, and they want to handle and to manage their own CI CD at home on prem. So we decided to address another problem we wanted to solve that in order to interact with an infrastructure, you need to deploy the build you receive from the developers. So it, uh, we developed a tool. Um, by using basically uh, the, the, uh, the automation scripts we have developed on Terraform and Ansible to provide a cloud independent automation tools for managing develop the deployments. How does it work? The, uh, this tool is called Automium. We are Europeans. Uh, we uh, strive for uh, cloud operators uh, based in Europe uh, for Europe. So uh, Automium is the symbol of Europe and uh, plus automation comes to auto Automium. So basically, Automium is a dashboard or an API set, you can use both, uh, that interacts with Git, uh, hence the term GitOps, which was uh, copyright here, uh, invented by Weaveworks. Uh, basically, is when you define your infrastructures and you store everything on Git. So you are basically doing governance uh, and uh, uh, disaster recovery, etc., all at once uh, using Git. So Automium interacts with these scripts, generates them on the fly, just getting the information from the user, the configurations, and just generating them and storing them into the Git. Into Git, which can be our Git or customer's Git on-premise. So what does it do next? Okay. Uh, it basically calls an agent, which is set inside the customer's tenant on the chosen provider. In this case, it's an OpenStack base, but we have plans to roll out integration with Terraform, uh, with uh, VMware and uh, AWS, can be more in the future. Uh, but basically, it starts up a VM inside the tenant and uh, starts to deploy your, the infrastructure you need. By infrastructure, I mean uh, balancers, uh, uh, web servers, uh, caching servers, uh, database clusters, uh, file system clusters, uh, monitoring tools, uh, logging tools, or whatever it takes to have a proper infrastructure running and monitored all the time. So um, we will switch to the demo. We are very short on time, so you will excuse us if we will uh, uh, move very quickly around. So basically, this is the interface we, in Automium. You have your infrastructure. Basically, basically you have uh, your desktop where you can choose uh, the components you want to run. You just drag and drop them into this tool. The, the web UI is intended for non-experienced users. You will see afterwards how you can interact directly with the code and the configurations. So basically, you just drag and drop them. Here we have a, a MySQL cluster with the orchestrator to, to run uh, automation of uh, um, a master slave re replica. And Federico now is uh, uh, showing some components. But the first thing we want to do is the more time consuming one, which is starting uh, centralized logging and monitoring services. Logging is based on Elasticsearch. And plus, we will provide out of the box uh, Kibana. And the monitoring is done using Prometheus. Uh, you can also choose uh, InfluxDB or whatever you are used to, uh, plus Grafana. So Federico has started the machine now. Uh, in, later on, we will show you the OpenStack Horizon interface so you, we can see uh, the machines starting booting and, uh, and, 
and starting the services. When you launch uh, a service, you are basically defining a cluster and you, uh, you can define cluster-wise that you, have, you want to have the logging and the monitoring defined uh, for that service. Uh, by doing this, uh, uh, regardless of the number of nodes you are running in the cluster, you will get all these nodes config configured with an agent uh, specific uh, for that kind of uh, centralized service to just push all the logs, all the metrics uh, uh, towards uh, your centralized system and you will see them in the dashboard. Uh, on this view you can see that there is a very simple code for uh, uh, defining what you're doing. Uh, in the configuration uh, um, web form you will be able uh, to uh, cut and paste your own configurations uh, you already are running uh, on your premise. So uh, let's, let's move on and add a very simple uh, Docker cluster so we can run an application. The, the demo application, excuse us, will be the usual WordPress uh, uh, because for sake of time we had to, uh, to be very easy on the demo. Uh, also here we added the, the monitoring and logging and so now you can apply all the changes. You can deploy them and this uh, creates uh, a restore point so in the future whatever changes you may uh, apply you can revert to the last uh, stable situation so you can see the button restore which means there you have a restore point you will have more in the future uh, once you apply more changes uh, this view shows you that these files are created into git and they just uh, uh, collect all the information you have a uh, inserted in the forms or in, uh, as code or uh, as design and basically they are stored into Git and you can uh, safely review them or change them. You can also change them. In this view you can see the uh, not only the logical architecture but also the physical architecture. We are waiting here for the um, private IPs to uh, show up. Uh, please note that you won't see from the UI uh, a console node, a console cluster, maybe you can decide whether it's a single node or a cluster of three. Uh, console is made to uh, provide uh, auto discovery. So basically every service you bring up, uh, regardless of the number of nodes, is registered into console and provides information to the load balancer and to the any kind of balancer you can use. So. Uh, auto scaling is basically seamless. Uh, the balancer knows automatically when you are adding or removing nodes. So you can see console here and information. So you have MySQL orchestrator. Uh, this is the horizon view as I told you before. So you can see the topology we are bringing up and uh, the instances. Okay, horizon slow. Okay, let's move on. Okay. We are very short on time. So you, you see the IPs popping up. So the, the main goal for Automium was that we have studied a lot about DevOps uh, uh, movement uh, principles, uh, best practices, uh, tools, uh, and we thought that the average customer in Italy and Europe is not uh, ready to just jump on it uh, alone. Uh, they need someone just to bring them, take them by the hand and bring them to do something different very easily. So only then they can choose whether they want to study it, to investigate and to go more in depth. So now you can see from Kibana we are accessing the data for logging stored in Elasticsearch. Uh, you can mangle the data, you can uh, build your own dashboard. Some of the dashboards we provide them uh, already baked in. Uh, so basically you can uh, instantly see what's going on on your systems. This kind of activity usually takes weeks uh, uh, for uh, unexperienced system administrators or even experienced system administrators that don't have a complete knowledge of all the domains into cloud native uh, infrastructures. So, um, go back here, now we are ready to deploy our balancer which is uh, of course uh, the best uh, load balance around, which is HA proxy. We define the password. Uh, the secrets are not stored into Git, of course. Uh, they are stored into Vault, so basically they are referenced from the code uh, from Vault. This is another uh, machine you won't see your one manage from here, but you will see from the uh, OpenStack interface. So now uh, we are deploying the load balancer. And uh, in a few seconds, we will be able. So this is the uh, actual uh, 
uh, complexity of what we have uh, de just deployed. So basically, the operations take a lot of time to study, understand, fix, uh, and uh, iterate over uh, manual tasks that can bring to a lot of defects. What we want, the problem we wanted to solve is to provide an automation tool to do things uh, uh, very quickly, very easily, and uh, almost defect-free, I hope so, uh, just from in, in 20 minutes, okay? So today it, the demo is challenging, but it's uh, a very good um, opportunity to show what, what we can do. So now it's uh, up and running, yeah? Where is it? It's coming. Okay, can, uh, you want to show in the Grafana? Yeah. We are waiting for the load balancer. <laughs> the balancer is not coming up? Okay, no, let's move yet. to the, to the yeah. Grafana part in, in the meantime. Okay. Oh, so, it's there. Okay, it's here. Um, so the god of demo <laughs> has looked up on us. So basically here you have your WordPress and you can start configuring it and you have uh, MySQL cluster already running so everything is working. So uh, I still have a job, it, it still has a job and uh, so very, uh, it was very, I think it was very clear what we can do here. Uh, the, uh, the, so this is Grafana. Basically, you can see instantly from, from day zero, you can see what's going on on your system, so you can monitor them, because whenever you have a problem, if you don't have this, you basically are blind. I know it may be uh, odd for many of you, but for the customers we are seeing, uh, they usually have problems, they don't even know where the problem is, what's going on, how much is the big, how, much, how big is the problem, etc. So. Here you can start and have everything in place and do whatever you want with your infrastructure. So uh, I think this uh, this is also almost it. Uh, how much time? <laughs> yeah, really, <laughs> we have well, seven minutes. Left. Really? So if you have any question uh, or something, anybody has a question? Okay. Yeah, uh, okay, so uh, the question is if the project is open source. The plans are to open source it. Basically, all the tools we are using are Terraform, Ansible, uh, Consul, uh, uh, Vault, uh, uh, Docker, etc. So the components are all open source. Uh, the tool itself uh, is not yet open source. We are discussing with the legal team in order to provide it open source. We want it by the end of the year. I can be pretty sure it will be open source. Uh, the, the basic things about this is are we want to enable multi-cloud uh, because these tools usually come as a service inside the provider and we want it to be out of the provider. And uh, the other thing is we have to deploy stuff into the tenant because once you centralize it, it's not more uh, provider independent. Uh, so yes, being open source is one part of that so users can uh, just install it on their premise, especially the, the ones that in the future will want to run it on against VMware, uh, uh, VMware hypervisors. We don't think that cloud depends very much on the hypervisors. The cl cloud is about this kind of operation, automation and distribution, basically. So we think that we, this tool can uh, help people jump on the cloud with cloud native architectures uh, uh, easily. Any other question? Okay, thank you very much, thank you for coming. If you want to know more about Automium, we have a booth right over there, the last one in the dark corner in front of the table. Thank you very much. Thank you.